Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. It's Seth. Thank you so much for joining me. I missed you. I've been a little busy. Had some people come into town. We were hanging out. It was a good time. Regardless, right now what I want to do is talk about saving credits and doing it, as you can see, right up there, up there, with uh, Cloud Desktop. I did this for Cloud Code. Uh, I got some questions in there if this works for Cloud Desktop. Now, I'm actually not super sure if it does, um, but we're gonna find out together. That's what I figure, like, why not? Um, so what I did was I did a bunch of research and we are gonna test this out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this with you. We're gonna troubleshoot it. And then at the end, I'm gonna put for free in the, uh, in the, in the comment section, um, a link to a Google Drive document. Anybody can sign on, just copy it or cl click file, make a copy save your own version. And whenever you jump on to use cloud code, uh, cloud desktop, you can have the same Serena MCP uh, that you would if you were using cloud code or that the cloud coders use. Um, just a quick like one, two on why I found so much value, so much value in Serena, especially uh, the Serena MCP is it kind of gives your, it, it maps out all the individual bits and bobs and, and areas of your project, right? So right now I'm building uh, a SaaS, I'm building a website. I'm also like working on SEO for other websites. And so what'll happen is when you ask Serena, when you ask a normal cloud, within a normal cloud instance to do something, cloud will just say, hey, like, um, you know, oh, you wanna change this button, cool. And then it goes through and it looks at every single button on the website. And it's like, that's a waste of, that's all credits. That's a waste of your credits. It's super aggressive. We don't need that. What this does is when you engage Serena in a project, uh, the first time you engage it, it goes through and it maps out everything. So that way all of the AI agents will know exactly what's going on within there. So it kind of gives it like, it builds a little map. And then whenever you reopen that same project, that map will be there. So you say, hey, we're gonna jump, be jumping in this project. I want you to open up the map. It's not a map in a literal sense. It's a AI map, right? So that's the value in this. And so what we're gonna do is I don't have that set up on my instance, but that's cool. Who cares? We're hanging out anyway. So um, I don't need it in this instance. We're gonna do it together. There is um, a quick thing we'll have to do first, and you have to make sure that something is installed. It's called UV. You have to install UV. I already have it installed, but it's different for if you're on Windows or if you're on a Mac. I guess I'm gonna pull this up, aren't I? Because I was not prepared, and I should have been prepared. Um, so let's do this. I'm just gonna crack open a new page. Uh, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm not gonna need this, you know? Like, it's just gonna be a quick thing. No big deal. Um, display capture, window capture. And then where's the terminal? Here's a terminal. Okay. So here's a terminal, here's a normal terminal. Now the first time you do this, sorry for moving this around on you guys. I know it's a little confusing. Um, the first time you do this, this is what it's going to look like. You come in here, and this is all copy and paste right off of there. For Mac, you're going to paste this. It's curl lssf, and then it's astral uv installer sh. I'm just going to click entry, enter, and it's going to download everything directly to your web, to your um, to your computer. And if you're on Windows, it's going to look like this. It's a different thing. I'm not going to do this right now. But if you're on a Windows, that you just have to do this. This is kind of the backbone of what it's gonna run on. And once this is in there, then you're kind of chilling. You can build off of that. And this is one of the tools which relies on that as its backbone. So let's make sure the backbone's in there. You just open up a terminal. Uh, a terminal is just this. It's your it's your classic backend, you know, and I didn't CD anything. It's just my normal MacBook Pro, nothing crazy. And you type in these commands. I'm gonna control C that so it goes back to zero and I'm going to hide this. Oh, not that. Where are you? This, okay, that's gone. So now here, er, here are the instructions. Um, so 
Okay, we're just gonna copy and paste this. We're gonna go, um, so the instructions are open on, on the document that is for free in the comments or in the under part of this website and the website. The com within the description, there is this free document and I'm just following those steps that I've already created. I made them beforehand and I'm just walking them through them with you. First thing, open cloud desktop, done. We're baking a cake, baby. Uh, step two, go to settings, developer, edit config. That's just gonna open it up, but I mean, let's do it anyways. You can't see this, but it's settings. There you go. Developer developer and it's just going to be edit config and this is just like where it is right so um, yeah so copy that's path name and now we go back here where were we oh we're back here to this okay that is like where the config is for this so I'm just going to say I'm going to copy and paste this, and here's the instructions. So, uh, please help me add Serena MCP to my cloud desktop configuration. I need you to either create or update my cloud config file uh, with this configuration. I clicked on that. It just takes you to the Serena. Um, maybe I'll show it to you later. But this is the official GitHub. And you can see it's just going to start working through it. I'll add this to your desktop configuration. Either create a new one or update the existing one. Read file perfect. I can see you have a desktop config. We know that. Uh, I've successfully added the Serena MCP. Great. Now uh, all we have to do is restart the cloud desktop, open the same one, and it should be good to go. So let's do that. I'm just going to click File, click Quit, Quit and it's showing you that it hasn't quit just because it's being weird. It's probably a little confused. I'm gonna to try to open it up again. Okay, now it's closed. Now it's opening up again. And now it should come to, where are you? Here. There, now it's redone. Now. Uh, reopen it. So now, just as I've opened this, I will show you what's happened in the background, which is a little interesting. Um, okay, I'm just going to crack this open on a different thing. So it opened up the Serena um, server in my Google Chrome, which is a super normal thing to do. Um, but please bear with me. And we're just going to go here and we're going to go cloud code, OBS code, terminal, spotlight, Chrome screen, the dashboard. Okay. This is what it opened up in the side right here. Sorry, it's a little loud. I usually try to keep everything just like, you know, white background so it's easier for me to read. It doesn't hurt my eyes so much when I'm working at night. But this is what it opened up for me, okay? Um, it's pretty cool, so that's kind of everything that's going on in the background. Now, with that said, let's, um, there's more instructions in here. Here are the instructions. You get to see them now because you've made it this far through the video. By the way, if you have, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. <laughs> I hope this helps you make more money or help it. Or, you know, get some work done, get work done faster. Now, okay, look for the tools icon at the bottom. So, okay, for any project, please activate this project and perform the onboard onboarding. So, I have a project that we've been working on kind of together. You would have seen it in some of my other videos. It's um, my H2 Echelon uh, little website that I've been building for fun. So I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to say, please activate my project at this. And then it is h2 echelon dash July 23rd. 
and perform the on boarding to understand the code base. Cool. And let's see what happens. Um, always allow. And here you go, you can see it's starting to do a bunch of work in there. Uh, I'm going to always allow. So here you go. Now, oh, and always allow. So this is, it's going through the entire, you can see what it's doing, the tech stack. This is really cool. So this is a website that I have saved on my drive. And whenever I make updates, I push those to the Git. The Git sends those to Vercel. Vercel publishes those online. Um, it's read the purpose, the tech stack, the key features, performance in SEO, the affiliate system, because it is an affiliate website. Um, it's a friend of mine's company, and I'm just like, yeah, seems like fun. I'm gonna build some more websites on here. If you want me to build a website, something that you're interested in, if you want me to build a website of something that you're interested in, just comment it, and I'll try building one. Um, sounds like it could be fun. Uh, yeah, I don't know, they're pretty easy to do, and who knows, maybe you make something really cool. Uh, so it's done all of this work and now it kind of understands everything that's going on and it's giving me the object the overview right uh performance seo uh 90 plus itel score target core web vitam vitals um primary partner is pure effect direct uh smart tracking with 30-day cooking attribution and automated ftc disclosure placement so yeah like what would you like to work on so now i can literally just work on anything I want. Um, let's do something now. Since you're hanging out with me anyways, uh, we might as well do something. So I don't know what this is going to be able to do exactly, but I'm, I'm excited to try it. Um, I want you to launch this locally so we can make changes and I can see what you do as we work on it. So this is a really easy way to work on a website or your SaaS or whatever it is that you're working on locally. So it's reading the memory. I'm just gonna give it, so listing directories, that's dir. Um, navigate to it, check the structure. checking if there's environment stuff. Cool, 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 cool. Executing shell commands, which means that it's like making like a shell, sort of like, you know how like snails live in a shell? It's, you, it's like that. It's like a place for this thing to live while we work on it locally. Always allow. I'm curious if this is gonna be a thing, I mean, I'm sure if you're working on a website, if you're working on your own website and you want some free clicks and traffic, put a link in my description or in the comments and I'll click on it. Uh, I would love to see what you guys are working on and I think it'd be super fun. And if you want, like I could make a video on your website. Um, I'm literally making this video because someone commented that they wanted to know if this would work on Claude desktop. So this is for you. Whoever you are who commented on my thing, you get your own video. And because uh, I'm so grateful for all those comments, man. And I'm super happy to do this stuff and help you guys, you know, work easily and have some fun, make some money. I don't know if this is going to work, though. I'm super curious. I know it can work on the project and it can update the folder that we have. I don't know if this can launch it locally and, like, make this a thing that happens. But it is starting the development server directly. I am so curious. Do something cool. Do something cool. Come on. This thing is struggling. It looks like it's doing stuff. Uh, might be stuck, maybe. Uh, 
Have I enabled tool stats? I don't know if I have. Okay, so yeah, we have this open. It's been going through. The one thing I forgot to tell, because Claude Desktop isn't Claude Code, it's its own instance, it's kind of like trying to communicate back and forth. It didn't know that this was actually on um, localhost 3003. It thought it was still on 3000 from when I gave it the information before. With that said, all I had to do, it got stuck there, as you may have saw a little earlier. And what I had to do was just let it know, hey, it's actually on 3003 and it's on the homepage. Then it was able to take this information. Uh, now we should refresh it. It says we should refresh it and should change. So let's check it out. Did it work? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it did. Perfect. And there you go. Now I just have to push this. Now that this is saved, I can get commands, push it to wherever, and I can make that happen. That's the whole strat. Okay, so if you made it this far, uh, first of all, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And um, to whoever suggested that they wanted to learn how to use Serena on Cloud Desktop, thank you for the comment. Thank you for the suggestion. Uh, this is it. This is how you use it. The Everything that you're going to need, need is in the description it's going to have this uh cloud code instructional thing and you just gotta you know follow the steps make sure you install it uh run this command on os if you're on windows run this it gives you steps to kind of work through it, it gives you what to copy and paste restart it and then every time you start a new project that's what you do i would highly suggest just using just in this setup, it seems like it's using one um, server, right? For the entire Cloud Code, Cloud Desktop instance. So I would highly suggest to just keep it simple. Only work on one project at a time within your Cloud Desktop. But yeah, this is gonna save you a ton of time, effort. It's gonna make you some money. It's gonna save you a lot of stuff. Uh, it's gonna save you a lot of um, tokens and you know Claude is getting more expensive now so that's kind of a real thing and anyways i hope you got a ton of value out of this thank you so much um your comments your likes your subscribes anything like that has been it's so valuable to me it really uh it helps me like you know get up and make a video like this in the morning i can't believe the support i got on here and i'm just so grateful to you guys for like hanging out and i hope that like you're finding this authentically valuable and it's helping you like do cool stuff with AI. Um, yeah, hell yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you did stay to the end, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Um, so much love, guys. And yeah, I'll catch you on the flip side. Ciao.